Welcome to PM Movie Recaps. Today's pick is an Indian action and drama film from 2015, Bahubali. If you're ready, let's enjoy the video. A woman is struggling to run while carrying a baby while two men are chasing her. As the water is drifting her, she asks Lord Shiva and bargains to take her life in exchange. The child must live to ascend the throne of Majmati. Later on, people saw her still holding the child up. As the man gets the boy, she points her finger up and lets herself submerge in the water. Nearby they see the dead bodies of those men who chased her and concluded what happened. Then they see a cave that links to the top of the mountain for the first time. The man assumes that it must be her sign to bring the baby there. Sangha, who carries the baby, gets angry and claims that the boy is sent to her by the river goddess and orders to close the cave immediately. Years later, the boy wanders about the top of the mountain and gets interested in going up there. So she scares him about it to avoid him from going up there. As Shiva gets older, he persists in climbing up to reach the top of the mountain for hundreds or thousands try. Meanwhile, his mother follows Sage's advice to do the ritual by collecting water from the waterfalls and pouring it repeatedly to make Lord Shiva answer her prayer, mainly to stop his son from climbing up. To his annoyance, he confronts the sage and detaches the Lord Shiva stone representation that shocks everyone. He carries the stone all the way to the waterfalls and the people follows him with astonishment. After they rejoice, he finds a wooden mask that fell from above. Then his mother Sangha is delighted and grateful to the sage that her prayers are answered. However, his attention is now diverted to the wooden mask. Shiva is too curious about the wooden mask and its purpose. Unexpectedly, he created a face on the sand using the wooden mask and he continues to complete the image of a woman. Then he runs towards the waterfalls, where a gorgeous woman awaits him. He then follows her and faces various obstacles where the woman shows and vanishes simultaneously. He continuously follows her, which tests his determination and perseverance. Unexpectedly, as he follows the woman, he finally reaches the top of the mountain. Meanwhile, he sees a woman named Avantika being chased by men. He then follows them. He hides and sees them getting killed one by one. Avantika sees a remarkable necklace worn by one of them. He hides and follows Avantika and other men to their hiding place. Then she reports to their chief about the necklace's owner as he has attained martyrdom. It angers their chief when one of their men tries to shed tears. He reminds them of their oath and that their queen, Devasena, is being imprisoned. Then they wear their wooden masks and recite their pledge. After that, Avantika wonders if they can ask for Katapa help, since he is a good man. But the chief thinks that Katapa is a slave to the throne of Mahashmati and will not be able to help them. Meanwhile, a man named Aslam is endorsing a sword, which Katapa refuses. That trigger Aslam and challenges him to test the sword instead for a duel. He is amazed by Katapa and is surprised to know that he is enslaved. He offers to buy his freedom instead, but Katapa is a loyal servant and believes that their words live on even his ancestors who took that pledge to serve the throne. That night, as the woman put her hand in the water, the sun draws on it with a spot of ink without being noticed. Then Avantika hurries to the meeting. The chief appoints Avantika to the plan of rescuing the queen. However, the chief notices the drawing on her hand that indicates her focus on beauty. He is about to reject her when she uses her tears to symbolize her extreme desire and worthiness and make the chief feel her sincerity. The kingdom of Mahashmati is seen where men or warriors are torturing the people. There is the king named Balaladeva. The bull suddenly slips away from being tied and runs towards Balaladeva. He fights with a bull to prove his power. However, as he exits the area, the bull is about to attack again when Katapa runs towards it and puts his life on the line. Still, Balaladeva succeeds and overpowers the bull, while Katapa is injured. Balaladeva praises him for his loyalty. In return, he lets him ask for anything he wants. So Katapa wishes to release Queen Devasena, who has been held captive for 25 years. He accepted his wish. However, he needed to kill her as a form of liberation, otherwise she will be kept there until she dies. Devasena is shackled. The king, Balaladeva despises her. He expresses his hatred towards what the queen did in the past for choosing another man over him who cannot even help her right now pronounces that Mahashmati has forgotten that man. After that, they leave her feeling devastated. In the evening, Devasena makes herself busy picking up the tree branches on the ground. Then Katapa comes persuading her to accept it to be freed. But she refuses as she believes that her son will go and be the one to set her free. They all think that her son has died, but she is determined. Unexpectedly, Katapa triggers her about her picking twigs like a madwoman. To his surprise, she reveals that it is a funeral pyre for Balaladeva. Meanwhile, Avantika went back to the river to catch who tattooed her hand that night. They plan to look for him. 
Avantika is positioned in the tree without knowing that Shiva is behind him. Then he releases a snake to stop her from moving, while he tattoos her on her shoulder without being noticed. Afterward, the woman notices her shoulder, which provokes her to look for the culprit. While Shiva is sitting in front of a bonfire pretending to talk to Avantika through the wooden mask. Suddenly Avantika comes attacking her. She caught him and asked him about who he was. She finds it unbelievable that he could climb the mountain as it is impossible. Shiva uses flowery words that capture her, but they continue the chase. While she wants to hurt him, Shiva intends to reveal her other self to see who is behind the mask. Later on, she is moved by Shiva as she discovers his purpose of going there to find her and bring the wooden mask she had lost. They indulge in the momentum, making love and appreciating themselves. Avantika picks up a flower and makes Shiva unconscious, then leaves him. Unfortunately, while walking, some men capture her and hurt her. When another man is about to cut her with a knife, Shiva comes to rescue her. While fighting with the men. One of them recognizes him, calling him Lord and begging for forgiveness. When he notices that many men are coming, they quickly run and chase them. Shiva throws a huge rock that causes an avalanche of snow where some of those men fall off and he takes some part of the tree trunk to slide down safely. The sun rises. Avantika asks for forgiveness for what she did, which Shiva accepts immediately and pronounces their union as lovers sharing obligations and all. He promises to rescue Devasena, even without knowing her as Avantika goal is. As promised, Shiva rushed to the kingdom where Devasena was taken captive. They are having an event of lifting the king's golden statue. Devasena can sense her son's presence even without seeing him yet. As they raise the statue, the enslaved people are already weak and cannot hold it anymore. The figure is about to stumble upon the workers when Shiva grabs the rope in a flash. Once again, his strength astonished the people. He takes the lead and pulls the rope to lift the statue again. The wind blows and exposes his face for a second. One of the enslaved people recognizes him and utters Bahubali, then the rest follows. And shout his name while pulling the rope. The king and others get enraged and curious about the name they are cheering. At the same time, Devasena feels delighted, as people continue to rejoice the name Bahubali while lifting the statue, which triggers the king Baladeva. Meanwhile Sangha and the people are looking for Shiva. She worries about his disappearance after lifting Lord Shiva's idol. Avantika persuades the chief to trust her and Shiva in rescuing Queen Devasena. The king Baladeva was still bothered about what the people did earlier, as if it was the statue of Bahubali. So they wonder what urged people to do it. Meanwhile, Shiva disguises himself as one of the warriors. The king asks them who was the first to utter the name of Bahubali. When no one admits it. Shiva presents himself but he pretends to accidentally stumble and put the place on fire as he moves forward. As he leaves, the king slightly recognizes him and orders them to catch him. Devasena feels glad to see his son running towards her. He is being attacked by tons of warriors, but he is focused on his goal to rescue the queen. He uses the chariot to escape. It is almost a success. Unfortunately, a trap is waiting for them, catching them again. It was the dawn. They were being held captive. He sees his mother, Devasena, being tortured, which infuriates him. It causes her to fight back and release his rage. He is close to killing the prince. When Katapa comes to rescue him. They fight each other continuously. Then Avantika and the warriors come to see Devasena happily. At the same time, the warriors from the other side come to get Devasena, so they rush towards each other, coming from side to side. While in the middle Sangha and their people come out simultaneously, shocked by what they witness. As the prince tries to escape, he grabs Mahasenya's sword that is supposed to be for Katapa and cuts the prince's head. All of the people are in shock. Katapa is enraged by this and rushes towards Shiva but is greatly surprised as he sees his face and suddenly praises him by Bahubali name, where all people kneel down in succession. Katapa then puts his foot onto his head as respect. The next day, Katapa thanks Shiva's foster parents. Shiva feels something is not correct. He is really curious about himself. Katapa then reveals how important he is and recounts the kingdom's history and his ancestry. Due to physical disability, the elder son of the kind was not crowned. The queen who was pregnant passed away, Mahashmati mourns. The elder son Bijaldava's wife, Sivagami, took the kingdom. The queen passed away and they were able to save her son. While the kingdom is mourning, the people plan to revolt to take the throne against Sivagami, meanwhile Sivagami carries the two young boys and pronounces the chance for the both of them to be the king. As time goes by, they train the boys and witness their capabilities. They can see who is more potential. Aside from his physical strength, Prince Bahubali shows compassion and is down to earth yet they believe they both have equal strength, 
making it more difficult for the queen to decide and face conflicts. Their trusted Sakata has stolen their military secret. The two princes went to find him in their neighboring kingdoms and found him in a den of thieves where thieves and murderers gathered. Then the other prince took advantage of the place. He enjoyed the moment, drowned everyone with booze, and enjoyed the company of women, thus distracting everyone. They successfully found the man. He tried to jump off instead of being tortured. So Bahubali wanted to prevent him, while Bala let them fall to kill Bahubali. Suddenly Katapa and other men came, so he did not go with his plan and saved Bahubali instead. They planned to attack the kingdom to which the Sakata had sold their military secrets, the Kalakia's kingdom, which is brutal. They proceed with their plan to attack and defend their kingdom against the enemies. They also took that chance to help them decide who would be the next king, who would successfully kill the enemy's chief. Katapa noticed that the distribution of the armies and the tools was unequal and favored Bala. The day of the battle, the armies assembled in their places and introduced the two prince by doing the ritual before the war. Before the battle started, they confronted the chief of the opposition who insults Sivagami. Then they began the battle. They all assembled their weapons and position to attack, while massive armies of the enemy were running towards, Prince Bala signaled and used their long-ranged weapons and bombs. Next Bahubali made his turn and sent the cloth to cover the enemies and burn them, which lost many of the enemies. The enemies continued to advance, they went closer and the two princes brawled with enemies. While Bahubali uses his strength, sword and bows to kill the enemies one by one. Bala is given the advantage of using an advanced tool to destroy the many. They saw their people being used as a barricade as they reached the chief's location. Bahubali was able to save them while attacking the enemies, compared to Bala who continued to attack them, harming their innocent people. Meanwhile, the enemies attacked their defense and raised their flag. The enemies made their way and killed a lot of their warriors. They were almost losing their hope when Bahubali encouraged them with his word of wisdom. By talking about fear and death, he revitalized their spirits to continue fighting. And show the enemy their wrath. They continued to attack the enemy and finally reached the chief. Bala fell on his chariot as the chief struck him. So Bahubali went back at him. He fought with the chief and threw the people at him. They continued to duel and almost killed the chief and dragged the chief, which caused his people to back out. When he was about to kill the chief, he remembered his mother's words to keep him alive, to chop his legs and arms, to disembowel his intestines, to make him bleed and die painfully. But Bala took over and stroked him instead, claiming credit for the chief's death. Right after that, the queen proclaimed her son Bala as the armed forces commander, while Bahubali is the king which flattened the people except for his husband. It turns out that the decision of the queen was unprejudiced. She weighed the considerations clearly which Bahubali fitted as a righteous man. After hearing about the story from Katapa, Sangha and their people were utterly amazed. Shiva is revealed to be the lost son of the great Bahubali, the strong and righteous man. Everyone hoped to see Bahubali. However, Katapa reveals that Bahubali was stabbed in the back physically and literally by himself under unknown circumstances. Thank you for watching, but before leaving please make sure that you click subscribe and turn on the notification so that you can enjoy watching more videos like this.